After students click on your course, they land on your home page. There are tons of home page templates that you can download. There's lots on Teacher Pay Teachers, but let's talk about what makes a good home page versus a bad one. With elementary students, you want to have very simple buttons for them. So this is not a great example because all of the buttons pretty much look the same. They require reading, which some of our youngest kids can't do. This one isn't really any better. It's very busy. Um, it's hard to read what's going on. This is a better home page because it has simple icons with each one, so it makes it easier for little kids to navigate, especially when they can't read yet. I like that this one sticks to a very simple theme as well. And this one's a lot busier. It has a lot of buttons on it, but the icons make it pretty easy for students to know exactly where to go. I actually really like the navigation buttons that are from the default homepage that Trinity sets up for our Canvas. They're color coded, but they also have a very simple icon and they have words so the parents know what each one means. This is a very good, simple homepage. And it's the homepage that I use. There's only one major issue with it, and that is when you click on one of the buttons, such as Learn Here, it takes you to a new tab that is still within Canvas, and that is not best practice. So we need to make all these buttons work correctly. Currently, none of these buttons are working because they have not been hyperlinked, and this one works, but it opens in a new tab. So linking buttons is really easy. We're going to edit the home page and Canvas has updated. So you just have to remove the link and put it back in and then it will work. So if I click on the learn here, I'm going to remove the link that they gave. Then I'm going to go to my hyperlinks. If you choose external link, it will open in a new tab as it should external sites should open in new tabs. But if you're going inside the course, it should stay in the same tab. And these are fixed that they will do that. So I'm going to click course link. And if you don't have your course navigation, if it, you can't see it, just hit the down arrow, that carrot there. We are linking it to modules. And that's it, it's done. So I'm going to save that and show you. Okay, so now when I click learn here, no new tab popped up, it stayed where we were. So we are navigating within the canvas, not externally. This is my course from last year. I personally keep class information, daily schedule and go live are all external links for me. Um, and they link to Google Docs for class info and daily schedule and go live links directly to my Google Classroom. The only reason I do it that way is so that if I update things, they are live and they will be across each of my classes. But you don't have to do it that way. Whatever works for you is fine. So for my class information, I have a Google Doc that goes over everything and it's the same for all my grades that I teach K through three. Let's say that I wanted to link this to the button if I didn't have a link there yet. I could share it, and I have marked that anyone that has this link can view the document. So I'm gonna copy the link. Let's go back to editing my homepage. I've clicked on the class information button, and I'm going to hyperlink it. This time it's an external link going to paste in that link I just copied and hit done. Okay, let's save that and make sure it opens in a new tab. Yep, new tab right there. Learn here still opens in the same tab. And like I said, my daily schedule opens so that if I edit anything here, it will be up to date when parents click on it. Again, this is from last year. I need to update for this year and go live goes right to my Google page. Um, that way students can join the live sessions.